Hi, I'm Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to make a 10-part movable Lego man. So, that's what I'm going to be making. This is what you're going to need. So let's get started. All right, first you want to take apart your Lego man. So he's in all 10 pieces. Here I've got in oven safe container I've got my composite mold and I've got my pieces taken apart but first I'm going to use mold release on all the little pieces all you really need to do here is put on a little bit a light coat if you get too heavy, you'll leave streaks. So I got a Q-tip here. Just kind of gently brush it on. Nothing to get it inside real good. And you want to do this to all your pieces. And to get inside the arm here, use a toothpick. So put a little vegetable oil on it, kind of get a little bit inside there so it releases easier. All right. So once they're all mold released, throw them in your oven safe container. Take your bubble buster and spray a pretty heavy coat. You want to get them nice and wet. Next, you're going to want to heat your composite mold prior to the bubble buster because you want it to be wet when you put it on. But I've already got some heated. Now, you're going to want to make sure the parts fill up with composite mold. You don't want any bubbles trapped inside. So, with the feet, kind of tilt it up so the bubbles are able to rise. Just tip everything upside down so the composite mold can fill all the cracks. So I'll put the toothpick in there, kind of trying to force force bubbles out and force the composite mold in. The easier method would be to just leave it, not worry about having the arm fill, and then drilling the hole afterwards for the wrist if you wanted the wrist to move. If you don't care if it moves or not, then simply put the wrist inside the arm prior to pouring the mold, composite mold. And as you can see, all the Lego pieces are floating, but that's okay, that's, that'll be fine. We'll, we're gonna just pour on top of them and then cut them out of the mold. 
All right, now that we've filled all the Legos with the composite mold, kind of want to separate them so they're evenly spread. So, as you can see, I've kind of created a lot of bubbles, but to get rid of them, what I'm going to do is put a sheet of aluminum foil on top of this. And I'm also going to spray another heavy coat of bubble buster on the surface here. This will help reduce bubbles. Put your aluminum foil over it. Now keep preheat your oven to 170 degrees. This is the easiest way to do it. You can also use a double boiler, but you want it to be a constant 170, once about 160 to 190 is basically where you want to be at. 170 is the ideal temperature. And you're going to want to stick it in there for about two hours so all the bubbles have a chance to rise and that'll make it so the surface is completely bubble free or almost completely bubble free alright so this is one that I made earlier it's been in the oven for two or three hours it's not quite solidified yet but it's getting there And now, all I have to do is pour a little more on top of that. So here I got my composite mold again. Actually, before I do that, I want to spray Bubble Buster again. I can do it now because I know that they're not going to float anymore. It's solidified enough that I can just pour on top of it and they're not going to float. That's basically the only thing you have to wait for before pouring the next layer. So here I go. That should do it. Now here is one. It's already solidified. I've poured the top. It's all ready to go. So pull it out. And here you can see looks like. 